Okay, let's do this. Um, so I'm continuing to work on my video setup. Just want you to know that things look a little bit different. I'm trying out some new stuff. The camera might look a little different and everything like that. But let's just try another problem. I found this on Reddit and I, I kind of just briefly looked at it. Um, I didn't really understand it, so but I think it should be a good question. Okay, so let's read this. It says, this question comes from my AS Mc AS. I don't know what that means. Okay, mechanics textbook. Under the equations of constant acceleration section. Okay, that's good. Uh, show that an object traveling with an acceleration A from velocity U to V, where U is between zero and V, over some time T, I don't like time T, I like time interval delta T, but that's fine, is traveling at a velocity of one half the average velocity at the halfway point. That is the halfway time through the motion, the velocity of the object is the mean, the average, the mean, I'm not sure, of the initial and final velocities. Okay, so I think I, think I have it. Let's switch over here to paper and let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we have the question. So let's say I have a car. It could be a car with wheels. And it starts off at V0 equals zero. And then it's going to speed up over to here and to V2 equals, they called it V. And then over here, it's in the middle I'll call that V1, right, 0, 1, 2. V1 equals U. I'm not sure why they want to use U, but, you know, you got to do what they want to do, right? you got to do what they want to do. Uh, so this is a time, this is at T0 equals 0, T2 equals T. They had a capital T. And this is T1 equals T over 2. Okay, so, oh, that's out of focus. How to focus that. I told you I was new at everything, right? Focus. Is that focused? Now it's shaking. I guess it looks in focus if it wasn't shaking. Okay, I'm going to proceed. So show that V, that U equals. No, wait, is show over time t is traveling at a velocity of, oh, okay. So, so they want to show in between here. So this is, um, that's not just, that's just t1. So they want to show at uh, t3, no, let's call this 3, t2. At t2, t2 equals t plus T1 over 2. That's a half, that's a halfway time uh, is equal to uh, U plus V over 2. That's what I think they want to show. Okay, and again, we're talking from, from a starting time of zero, uh, zero velocity. It's, but really, we, let's see, wait. T is the traveling at a velocity of T half over 2. An object is accelerating from velocity u to v. Okay, so that's what it is. This is u, and this is v. Okay, and then we're in the middle point. Okay, so that's all wrong. So let's just draw it like this. v1 equals u. t1 equals 0. v2, v3 equals v. At t3 equals t. And then here is t2 equals t over 2 v2 equals, and show that v2 is equal to uh, u plus v over 2, the average velocity. Okay, so this is the average velocity for the whole thing. Um, I'm not really sure where to start, so let's just start with the definition of uh, velocity as a function of time. So v as a function of time is going to be the initial velocity, I call it v1, plus a delta t. And if t1 is 0, delta t is just going to be t. So I can just write this as uh, v as a function of t is v1 plus a t or u plus a t because the initial velocity is, is that. 
And that's only true, be careful, that's only true because I can put t instead of delta t because the start of that t equals zero. That's important. Okay, so that's the velocity <clears throat> as a function of time. Now what if I put in uh, v of t over 2 into my equation? I get u plus a times t over 2. Does that help? Okay, let's do this. Uh, this is going to be equal to... I was going to factor out. Okay, let's just do this. Now I'm going to say uh, v of t is going to be u plus a t, right? Because that's the time, it's at time t is, uh, let's put in t for that. So this a t, and this is also equal to v, right? Because that's what we called it. So a t is equal to u minus v. Is that going to work? So AT is going to be, okay, let's put that in. So now I get uh, V of T over 2 is going to be U plus U over 2 minus V over 2. It doesn't work. It'd be nice if it's the other way around. Right, if I had that as a minus, AT is what? V equals U plus AT. That's right. And then this is right over here, right? V of T over 2 is U A times T over 2. That's this definition of the kinemic. I'm just using this equation right here. I think I've got it. I just made a mistake. Okay, V of T over 2 u a t over 2, good. v of t is u a t. So a t oh a t no from here at a t is v yeah v minus u oh v minus u aha that does work v minus u so this is going to be equal to u plus v over 2 minus u over 2. And then I have u minus u over 2 is going to be u over 2. So I get u over 2 plus v over 2 equals u plus v over 2. Okay, so that's, I know that's kind of a weird way to do it. Let's just go ahead and um, I kind of want to do a graph, okay? Uh, I want to show this graphically. So I'm going to jump over to Python to do this graphically. Uh, and I'm going to use my normal numerical calculation for Python, uh, which I'm not going to explain in too much detail because I'm doing this from scratch. But I want to make a plot of v versus time uh, going from u to v. Now, in order to do that, I need some values. So I'm going to say a is equal to uh, 1 meter per second squared. Uh, u is equal to uh, 1.8, I'm picking a weird number, meters per second. V, and then I'll, set, I'll pick T, because then that's set. So T is equal to 3 seconds. Okay, and this is at T equals 0. So I can make that graph. I can make, uh, I'll start off with the velocity versus time graph, and then we'll just see uh, if it indeed is, is what it is in the halfway point. That way I can practice my setup over here. So I'm going to switch back here to the computer. I'm on the computer. And let's go to Trinket. Uh, so let's go to, I don't even know what I was doing here. Let's just go to cancel, uh, new trinket, glow script. And if you're not familiar with this, it's okay. I don't want to get into it too much. So let's just say G1 equals graph, uh, title equals uh, velocity, uh, accelerating object. A Y title is going to be equal to velocity in meters per second. Uh, and then x title is time. And I'm not used to this keyboard in seconds. Now, one of the other things I like to do is say width equals, let's say, 500 height equals uh, 
250. That just makes the graph look better. Then F1 equals G curve, color equals color dot blue. That's what I'm gonna use for my, my graph. Now I can put my values in here. U equals 1.8. A equals, what did I say? One. Uh, T equals three. Uh, T equals zero. So uh, Python is case sensitive. Uh, so this is a different variable and, and I do need two variables. One, one is my last time. I'm just using, I wouldn't normally use it this way, but that's what the problem says. I want to do it like the problem does. Uh, so then I can say dt equals 0 0.01. So what I'm going to do is to break the problem into tiny time steps uh, and then find the velocity for each time step. And it just allows me to do a little bit things a little bit different. While t is less than t, I'm not going to put a, <clears throat> a rate. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to find the new velocity. So let's do this actually. Let's say V equals U. And that looks weird, but again, I want it to be matched up with the way the problem looks, uh, where U is the initial velocity. So the first thing I'm going to do is update the velocity. V equals V plus A times uh, DT. So I'm, I'm changing the velocity just during that time step. So this is a, a classic thing in Python. It says take the old velocity add this to it and make that the new velocity. And so that it, it's not an algebraic statement, it's fine. Um, I could update the position, but we don't really care about position. Uh, so let's update uh, time, t, let's plot it. F1.plot, t, v, and then update time, t equals t plus dt, and run that. Okay, so there's, you can see the answer with the graph, right? Because if the graph of velocity versus time is a straight line, then yes, at the halfway point, the velocity should be half as much. So let's go ahead and plot that. Let's do this. Uh, F2 equals G dot, G dot, color equals color dot red. I think this will show up. Uh, and then let's say uh, half T equals T over two. Um, and then down here, I'm just going to do this. Let's do a little trick. If, oh, yes. If, ooh. I, I can't do, hmm. I'm not going to do it that way. Let's just, let's just run it the way we have it. I was going to put a dot right there, but, oh, I messed up something. Can't find G dot. G dots. Fine, get rid of it. Okay, so uh, what is halfway time? So I go from time zero to three, so halfway would be 1.5. So right here, I can see that the velocity is 3.3. Uh, so if I have uh, the final velocity is up here at 4.79. 1.8, so the difference that's three, so 3.3. Oh, but I gotta add it to 1.5. I, I think that's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm getting messed up with my numbers here, but yes, you can graph it. And I do, I do think that shows you that the average is, is the same and that's what they wanted. Um, I kind of feel like I want to make a position time graph, but I, I'm just still, I'm, I'm good with this. Oh, let's just stop there and hopefully that answers your question which it wasn't even your question, it was on Reddit. Okay, that's the end and I'll talk to you later, stopping this.